today we're going to talk about college, and more importantly, crippling student loan debt. That's right, and I happen to be an expert on crippling student loan debt. So the cat wakes me up at like 6 a.m. this morning, right? So I get up, and after tripping over him about 30 times, I finally make it to the kitchen table, where guess what? I've got a pile of bills I need to look through, and right on the top, student loan debt. Uh, let me tell you one thing right now. If you're thinking about going to college for, for, for anything outside of like being a doctor or a paramedic or something, just don't. If you're going into the arts or something, you need to think long and hard. Is this going to be worth like thirty to 100000 of my dollars? Are they really going to teach me $100,000 worth uh, of, of, of skill? Is that really going to happen? Because I doubt it. I very much doubt that. Okay? So let's say you go to a college, say you're applying, okay? It's time to apply to college and, and you know, fresh out of high school, everything, which was, you know, which you didn't have to pay a dime for, by the way. And, and, and you think to yourself, okay, you know, I want to be an artist. I like to draw. That's great. Well, guess what? You're going to have a freaking problem applying to schools because the best schools are going to run you a freaking $100,000. And even the worst ones are going to run you well into a hundred. I didn't go to a great school. I went to a really horrible school and I still have to pay over a hundred thousand dollars and they didn't teach me anything. They taught me nothing. The school was quote unquote, just getting started. And you know, we didn't, we were understaffed. Well, why did I have to pay that much then? If you were under freaking staffed, why did I have to pay so much money? And then they get you with, oh, well, it's a parent plus loan. You only have to pay your part and your parent pays the other part. Well, great. Now you've put your parents in crippling debt. Good Lord, it's a Ponzi. Oh, oh, and then and then you go online and you see all these things. Oh, reconsolidate. Oh, refinance your debt. Oh, that's great. That's a really great idea. So you click on it, and their response is, "Oh, just pay fifty thousand dollars right now, and then you'll have less to pay." Well, of course I'll have less to pay. No duh, I'll have less to pay. If I had fifty thousand dollars laying around, I wouldn't have to pay this in the first place. God, it's nonsense. Listen, if you're good at art, if you're talented at something. Or, or, or you're, you're, you're confident in your drawing, even if you're not confident in your drawing skills, just go get a cracked copy of Flash and teach yourself something. Just teach yourself something. Go online, the internet's all over the place. Make a stupid video, use your favorite stupid characters, people will eat it up. If you have the skill set, you can basically get all this education for free. It's all out there. It's all right there, just waiting for you, okay? All you have to do is go get it. So if you're sitting here watching me, God, frick, frack, if you're watching me right now, then you have better things to do with your life. But if, 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 if you are sitting here thinking, hmm, you know, I think I want to go to college for, you know, for sewing, or I want to go for fashion, or I want to just forget it. Just don't do it. Because I guess, guess what's going to happen? You're going to go into this field. You're going to go into this industry. $100,000 short, by the way, always paying debt. Okay, you're going to be paying more for your student loans than you're going to be paying on rent, okay? And I'm talking about L.A. rent, okay? This is, like, you're going to be paying at least $1,500 just to live in L.A. You're going to be paying more than that just to pay your student debts off. And, and, and guess what? The person who looks at your resume, 95% of the people who look at your resume don't even care. They don't even care. They're going to look at your reel for 30 seconds and say, oh, yeah, he's good at what we want. Let's get him. That's what's going to happen. That's the only thing that's going to happen. So all these college places, all these colleges and recruiters coming to you saying, hey, you know, you really need to bolster your uh, your portfolio. This is going to look great. And, and it's only going to have to cost you, you know, fifty to $100,000. Just don't listen to them. Don't be like me, okay? Don't be like me and think that college is a necessity because it's not, okay? You know what's a necessity? Money. And anybody who's asking you for money it better have something in return, okay? And these colleges just don't. You can go to CalArts and you can do all this. You can go, I mean, you know, they have some good connections and you might get lucky, but you can make connections on your own. For God's sake, write a letter. Jeez. You can send portfolios to places with snail mail. You don't need all this stuff. God. Anyway, don't be like me. All right, don't, 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 don't be the guy who's paying God knows how much every month. I don't even want to look at my account anymore. I don't even want to look at it. It's infuriating and it's, and it's disheartening. I want to wake up and just put a bullet in my mouth. <sighs> anyway, that's my story. And, uh, all right. This is Frick Frack saying, 
another lesson learned.